We just received an update from Toronto Community Housing into the fatal fire investigation here just minutes ago, and it's this, that the residents living in the first three floors of this building will not be allowed back in tonight as initially expected. Instead, they will be allowed back in sometime tomorrow evening. This, as we're learning some absolutely tragic details about the man killed in last night's blaze. They say they're here to help, 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 and someone wants to help him. And by the time they smoke, is very too much. Residents report hearing cries of help from a fourth floor suite where it's believed the fire started at this TCH complex on George Street near Dundas. The smoke so thick on the fourth and fifth floors, firefighters had to rescue a number of residents by aerial ladders. Kareem Nazuri among those who had to make the terrifying climb down. When they opened the door, I found lots of smoke going on. One didn't make it out. Police have not identified the man killed in last night's fire, but residents say he was only very recently released from hospital after a serious illness. TCH confirming today he was receiving agency support to address concerns about his ability to live independently. I do understand in this case there was a fair amount of support given to this gentleman, but uh, actually to, for the final cause of the fire and that sort of thing, I just have to wait for the investigation. The Ontario Fire Marshal's office today said the exact cause of the fire remains unknown, although they confirm it started on the fourth floor, with some damage also to the floor above. It appears right now the building performed as designed. These buildings are designed, if there's a fire within the unit, it's kept within that unit, as long as the door is closed. The mayor today visiting the displaced residents who stayed overnight at a nearby community centre. Those who aren't allowed back in tonight will be put up in hotels. I night and had a chance to speak to pretty much all of the residents that were displaced and uh, tell them what was going on and uh, assure them that we were on top of it. Residents here hoping to be allowed back in soon and that something like this doesn't happen again to a tenant of TCH. Only to pray for him and... It's happened, you know, poor guy. Again, for those living on the first three floors, the hope is to get them back into this TCH building by this time tomorrow evening. But for those living on the fourth and fifth floors, well, it could be a number of days or even weeks yet.